How exciting. This is very different. Isn't it? And I'm just going to have to share this. So, so this is live. This is a live podcast. We've got some of our gorgeous Present and Sober peeps here from the Present and Sober podcast Facebook group. If you're not in it, get in it. And then you can be here next time. And the most exciting part of the day is that we just did a quick poll to see, because Sam likes to intro and... I was about to say, I don't, it's not that I don't like you to intro. You always say that I don't let you. So Sam that was angry. True. That is actually an true. to intro the podcast. And so I thought I'd throw Damn. it over to, to the folks that are with us. Who would you like to intro the podcast? That'd be me. Hang on. No, actually, Linda said both. Uh, and Bev oh, said both. And Lorraine has said both. So well, I think they're just being diplomatic now. Well, you would say that. I'm the one Too who late. I'm diplomatic. That's my middle name, Sam Diplomatic Goldfinch. Um, mm. Okay, right. So go on then, over to you. What are we doing? Title, topic, all that stuff. Come on. Let, let, the, let the crowds know. We are, well, we, we committed to talking about words of the year because I think we've talked about words of the year already. Yeah. Was that the New Year's episode? <laughs> this is great the way you say year and not year. Um, yeah. was we did i think we did we spoke on one of the episodes in and around christmas new year we spoke about how words of the year can be really cool and and really nice to have something like that for for the yar or the the year um yeah so we thought we'd just take a bit of a deeper dive and see if anyone as we go through interact with people see what their words of the year are and bring that in to the to the chat to the podcast huh so ha is this something that you've done personally sam like, yeah yeah so i've got a word for this year in fact i think the first time i i, I can't remember, i think i stumbled across this maybe a couple of years ago i heard a few people doing this and i quite liked it because i mean we we did do a podcast a couple of years back on how um new year's resolutions can be a bit sticky for people because they're often loaded with expectation and the idea that we're not okay as we are as well like the idea that i'm not I'm not all right. I need to, I get it. I need this or I need that. And it, and it kind of, you know, they can be a bit sticky and, and people often end up throwing them out, don't they? You know, a week into January or something like that. And we like throw the whole thing out. And I, the cool thing about this word of the year is it's kind of like a sponsor for the year, isn't it? It's like sponsor, yeah. an experiment, you might say it's sponsoring like my year. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Cause yeah, the, the alternative is too, it's too much pressure. I don't think I've ever set a new have i ever i don't know i don't think i've ever jived with it quite honestly and i've never been a massive fan of new years either until i stopped drinking and i can't remember it was probably a couple of years ago it was the first time that i picked a word for the year and it was enormously helpful what was your because, word do you remember your first one yeah my first word was space mm -hmm. right because like is, up there space well well not necessarily but this is the beauty of it right because you you get to interpret it mm. and it's not it's not a solid thing so it it shifts mm. and uh so it might be space up there oh hang on a minute let me take perspective do you know what i was just on this is brilliant i was just on i was coaching the live naked folks do yeah. you know what i got out for the live naked folks <laughs> wasn't your cosmic badger was it it was very close it was my oh, cosmic my book oh yeah I haven't Is seen this that bad for boy? a while. Look at and, that. and I was set like this. What year was like, that printed, Ellie Crow? Can you tell story me? Story time with Ellie. And I was reading like this from the big book. Um, and we were talking about the universe. Um I'll tell you on the front, wouldn't it? You have to like look in the in on the first page on the on the left and it Well works. no well no, because that's what's on the Oh right, okay. I, I take that back. It's so not any old it's not any old book, on is it? Back. It's all right. Nineteen ninety eight. How there old you were you then? 11. 11. Oh, good maths. How old were you then? 18. You were, it's because you you're the same age as my bro. Oh, yeah. You were out causing trouble, like raving or something. I was I was probably, I wasn't far off either. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it can, it could be space, but it, um, how it, wh why I kind of picked that word the first year that I did this was what I was looking to do 
was actually to do less, right? I, I wanted to create space so that I was much less reactive. And so it's really, um, you know, playing in this place of creativity and yeah. like, what, well, what other options are there? What other possibilities are there? Because the, the problem with stimulus and response is there's no, there's no time for anything. Like it's, it's just automatic pattern. And so having that word as my sponsor, I love that, as my sponsor for the year meant that it was this place to call home, this place to keep coming mm. back to. Um, and and it was it, it was it, it was fabulous to me that like that that year, it, it it was just like it felt really right and top of mind and like it, it was foregrounding, but it, it didn't feel like there was no pressure around it. Yeah. And because there was no pressure around it, it meant that whatever needed to flow towards me and through me and away from like it all just happened and it was, it was beautiful love that right i'm so, very yeah. i'm aware of these comments and just seeing if uh we've got some thumbs up and then yeah okay cool so we're gonna we're gonna get in we're gonna interact with uh with you in a minute so for anyone who's listening ellie you did you explained we're doing this live didn't you because uh for anyone who's listening to this not live that's we're interacting with actual people in the facebook group i'm probably just repeating what you already said i think yeah what we what we might want to do is it fuck uh, like if if you don't want us to say your name on the podcast maybe put just let us know put some kind of emoji before you comment yeah 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 because like, we, 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 we want to ask you about your words and things and your um uh uh what's the word? reflections yeah but if you don't want like maybe put the poo emoji or something <laughs> just, just just let us know or just reach out and let me know or you can put a poo emoji if that's what you want to do people might be putting that anyway if uh like know, well for example like if, if somebody puts a poo emoji and then their comment i know that i can just refer to them as a person as opposed to read out their name that's what i'm on about yeah okay got it i mean i'm in i'm in massive agreement with you i think that's fantastic so um i love that i can't remember what my word of the i don't think i really had one last year but this year i decided i would do one um and i was having a think and the word that i have settled on this year is trust um because one thing that's really been that I've been really seeing over the course of the last few years in particular is uh, there's a space that we can trust that's uh, it's kind of hard to talk about. I call it the wisdom space. I've spoken about it on the podcast a lot, but it's real. Uh, you can't really touch it, but it's a real space and it delivers us the goods when we need it. And it's uh, life, you might say. Life, life kind of helping us out when we need it to. Um, and like I've said to you before, I think, mate, I don't trust Sam with as much stuff as I used to, not because I don't think Sam is necessarily trustworthy or anything like that, but because there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that, you know, life's better at doing. So I kind yeah. of often make the joke that Sam's quite good at making sandwiches, although I don't know, that depends on your, you know, your, what, what you think, what you think of my sandwiches, but they are quite good, but I'm quite good at, Sam's quite good at making sandwiches. Sam's quite good at, um, you know, certain judgments. And I was going to say maths, sorry, not, not good at maths, but you take my point. But Sam's, I don't need to outsource stuff to Sam, certain things around life. So things like uh, being creative or coming up with new ideas or knowing what to say, uh, when to say it or preparing myself for, for a social event or something like that. Um, I'm trusting something different. I'm trusting that I'm being carried by something. Um, mm. And that's been a bit of a game changer, you know. And when I work with people, um, coaching or whatever, I'm trusting that life's got their back as well. Like I know it's not my job to be able to give anybody an insight and to be able to solve anything for anyone. They're going to do that for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but if we can fall into a space of connection, life will will do the work for us, which is kind of beautiful. Mm. So that's, 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 that's very nice. nice. You look very like nice. you're desperate to say something. Well, there's a few things and in typical form now, like I don't know which way to go. But what I do know is people are embracing the poo emoji idea. Or the non poo emoji idea. Awesome. So that, <laughs> that's good news. I'm, I'm not surprised. Um, do we want to read out a couple now? 
Yeah, go on. So, so if, is anyone? Yeah, I think it would be really nice to just get a few because I think we've kind of described why this is so powerful. It's it's an intention based thing rather than an expectation. Um, it's something we can experiment with. I might find myself um, sort of innocently forgetting that I can trust life and getting stressed out and thinking it's all up to me. And that's okay because I can wake up to that. It doesn't mean that I failed or anything. It just means that it's like, oh yeah, like trust, that's what you're playing around with. So it's very open. Um, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's the framing for it. So yeah, I'd love to explore what people have got here with us. Well, there's some lovely ones. So my good friend Merit, who I haven't seen for ages, uh, has said survival towards the rival. Mm. And I, I particularly love this bit more than one word because I'm shit at following rules. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You can have a sentence. You've got a yearly sentence. Yeah, why not, huh? Or a yearly phrase. That works just as well. It doesn't have to be a word, does it? Break those rules. Mm. Yeah. And Stacey's got a similar one to my space one. And she said, this year I'm leaning towards perspective, which cool. helps me to resist knee jerk reactions and judgments. And allowing grace for others and me. Yeah, they're both awesome. They're they're such cool examples. Like with with perspective, just just holding that word lightly throughout the year and just remembering, you know, a question, the kind of thing that might accompany that is asking ourselves, is there another way to see this? You know, or something like that. And just something like that, it can loosen our grip potentially on a story that we might have, mm -hmm. which is seemingly giving us one set of experience and then hang on a minute you know is there a different way to see this like what what would my zoomed out perspective be like that kind of thing and that mm -hmm. and it can really loosen things up so that's that's yeah i love that i absolutely love that um yeah right buckle up mr sun there's some really fucking good ones coming up right um <laughs> vicky said my word is lightly you may say my name no poo <laughs> <laughs> so good <laughs> Um, lightly. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, it's so this, um, this year I, I'd originally decided, what did I call it? Oh God. Softening was what I, what originally came to mind. And I was sharing it with somebody on a coaching call. So I just got this nice lean towards softening, which is, you know, similar to this, you know, idea of like being lighter. And, mm. um, and then somebody in the chat put something like, you don't mean your body. <laughs> it's like, yeah, maybe it's not softening then. And uh, and I, I realized what it was. It's it's gentleness. Mm. So that's my word is gentleness. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we haven't done your word. Gentleness. Mm, nice. Because mm. there can be an enormous amount of power. Whilst um, embodying gentleness. Yeah. So, yin energy mm. i love it yeah and like where are these words coming from right so it's we can kind of sit there and, no well yeah got it <laughs> <laughs> but for each of us individually like where are those words coming from maybe because maybe we read it in a book or maybe we heard it on a podcast or whatever but why did it pique our interest mm. why is that word special for us this year or whatever that is life that is coming from uh Every now and again, I have an image because because we're on my phone as well. Like I get to see you taking the mickey out of me and then laughing, but with like a delayed, with like a what, 30 second delay on it. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to get you sticking your fingers up me again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it back at you and see what happens. Uh, it's not happened yet. It's going to happen in a second. Uh, oh, yeah. Has anyone, has anyone seen this? We were talking about this. Flicking me the bird. I don't, I st yeah, there you go. You've just stuck your fingers up on me. So there's a slight delay on this. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, why is it that that word piques our interest, right? It's curious that, uh, that there's something inside of us that said, oh, that one, that one's, that one's right for me this time around. Right then, what else is in the chat? Um, well, uh, uh, my good friends, Vicky and Merritt, are concurring with the gentleness. Um, Vicky says, Ellie, you are gentleness. This is, this is really lovely, actually, because there's a, uh, one of my wonderful, um, she was in one of my small coaching groups, and she's now, I've employed her to do my copywriting. She's Fabulous, fabulous awesome. lady. She likes you as well, Sam. So that's good news. Good, glad to hear. But she was the lady that called you a prop. I, so... just, I mean, she's not the first. She probably won't be the last. <laughs> I'll tell you about the the, the shots she wants us to take. But that's another story. We'll, we'll come back yeah. to that later. 
But in, within the conversation around this branding strategy, she was trying to uh, describe to me, uh, she, she was positioning me, um, she's talking about options, right? So because I, we kind of didn't like the word competition because mm. I don't feel like I'm in competition with anybody. Um, so we were talking about options, like what options do folk have? So they can come to you for group coaching or they could try to do it alone or whatever the things are. And she was trying to give me uh, a view as to how she perceives me uh, versus another coach. Um, and she used gemstones to describe us, right? It's beautiful. Oh. And I was I was listening to this message as I was walking the dogs. And when she said what she said, I went, oh, yes, because it felt so right. And 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 it was it's linked to this whole theme of gentleness. So she said to me, uh, she was referring to this other coach and she talked about this other coach being a sharp piece of amethyst. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. And she said, Ellie, you are a tumbled piece of either jasper or moonstone oh I don't, yes i am i am all smooth all smooth powerful but smooth and gentle mm. so yes there we go what am i you're my prop no what's what gemstone <laughs> okay i need, need someone need someone I'll to, have to ask her to to, yeah can you can you ask her in fact I'm, well at I'm the minute you're quite like my little piece of obsidian that sits on my desk yeah, Obsidian's very protective, isn't it? So that's very nice. I know, well, I'd, be, I'd be interested to know, though. Well, it's funny, when I was a kid, I was absolutely obsessed with crystals and, and gemstones. I used to collect them. I had boxes and boxes and boxes of them. Now I just forgot about them. It's strange. Maybe I need Aww. to... Well, no, not like... It's been abandoned somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't think they're still around at Mum's house. I'll have to find out. She's got loads, to be fair. Has your mum got your teeth as well? My teeth? Yeah. What are these? How, it, not, how do you teeth? keep your teeth? Oh, yeah, no, I don't think she does, actually. I don't think so. Yeah, people, parents keep all sorts of weird shit, actually, don't they? Yeah, she, do. The other day, she was, she, anyway. Um, right, come on then, what's next? Stacey says, I want to be sea glass from the coast of Maine. Yeah, oh. that sounds nice. Right, yeah. Jeanette. Jeanette's word is intent. Yeah, oh. love it. And I think... That's really powerful. It's another really powerful one because there's so many ways in our life where we're leaving ourselves open to like really innocently becoming lost at sea because we don't have any kind of intention. So like there'll, there'll be all sorts of little patterns that we notice in our life. So it might be, so for me, um, walking to, I don't know, go and see a friend with intention or eating lunch with intention or you know, all those kinds of things are powerful because it's so easy to kind of slip into a moment and just, um, what's the word kind of, you know, for me, for example, with food, I can sort of wake up to the fact that I'm eating quite quickly or something like that, or that I'm, you know, halfway somewhere and, you know, you're lost, lost in, in your thoughts and whatever. And just that word could be enough to kind of just bring you back into the moment. Um, so yeah, I love that. Love, love, love that. Yeah, me too. Uh, Kate says, I need help choosing one. And then what I really love is Kurt said, mine needs to be something like take on fewer projects and play more. Mm. I was just on a call with somebody that's talking about their word for the year is playfulness. So yeah. you're being guided towards something there. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> I, I need help choosing one, but no, I don't really. Cause I do have one. I do have one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would just so because um, there's a part of me that's like all excited and could give a load of words to potentially honor what Kate shared. But Kate, I'm I have no doubt that if you just look in the direction, have a good, you know, go to bed, have a good night's sleep or whatever, you'll the word will come to you at some point. Um, it's you know, you'll it will arrive for you. It will choose you, really. I think these words choose us is the truth. We mm. don't really choose them, do we? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Lolly says, remember is mine. Remember who I am. Nice. Yeah. That um, There's something really lovely about that word. In, it, again, you know, earlier on I was saying, like, you can look at, you can take very different or multiple perspectives on a word. The thing that's really lovely about remember is that there's so much stuff 
that's innate that we've mm -hmm. forgotten. Yeah. Really, you know, basic, helpful, very helpful, very practical day-to-day -day stuff that we've just, we've lost touch with. Yeah, you bet. So that's a really beautiful word for finding your way back home. Yeah, and I mean, there were things that we, you know, when we rocked up on this planet, you know, you know, and we were all very small, there were things that we just knew we were living them, living our wholeness, uh, living our, you know, value, living all of that amazing stuff, just being just kind of like residing in love. And then we we kind of were conditioned and one way of thinking about it, I guess, is that we kind of forgot that stuff. But then we get to remember it consciously, which is the kind of journey that a lot of us are on. So, yeah, I love that. I love that. That's really cool. And the good news is that Kate likes playfulness, which is perfect. Yeah, like someone, uh, I was on a call with somebody the other day as well, and their their word for the year was play. And I can, so actually last year, I, t I forgot actually, it wasn't my word for the year, but about halfway through the year, I really started to focus and look in the direction of sacred silliness. Because I was like, yeah, I want, I want more of that in my life. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I did a few workshops and things over the summer that would kind of push me, push me out of my comfort zone in that um in that direction so yeah it, it really helped me out to kind of yeah just kind of just have a little bit of a think about it mm. lee's here hey buddy uh and uh where did i say i saw a couple of others that we missed so ak says surrender and, mm. and i love the qualifier surrender but not in a bad way yeah <laughs> in a receiving instead of resisting way yeah, I mean, well, that is nice, that, isn't it? Because I think for for some of us, surrender is kind of, or for, for some people, it can be synonymous with weakness or something like that. But actually, surrender is like one of our greatest strengths to be able mm -hmm. to surrender and breathe and surrender and feel and surrender and be um, is is one of the greatest spiritual strengths any of us can have. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. I love that. So I've said I love that about 75 times, but I do, I do love all these things that I'm I'm hearing. Uh, and who else is oh there we go um so Jacqueline says uh I also need a word around reactivity um so well, I, go on. well I was just gonna say so we, we talked earlier so my word that was helpful with kind of cultivating patience and and um being oh, gosh it served me well being much less reactive was space and uh, it was Stacey that said perspective. Mm. Yeah, or, so, or pause, something yes, like that. Yes, pause, yeah. Pause is nice just to take that minute to just just pause a few more times over the course of the next year. Mm. Um, like you know, Something like that, Whenever, whatever, you know, whatever you resonate with. Just the thing is not quite knowing the word, but having the kind of like, oh, it's something like, that's awesome. Like it's something like that. That's kind of where, the way that I'm going. And then the word will kind of show itself for sure. Yeah, yeah. and as per the softening, moving to gentleness thing, it might start off as one word that you go, well, it, this is kind of in this direction, but it's not quite the right word. It doesn't mean like on the 1st of January, you have to have it like yeah. gold-plated or tattooed on your arm or something. It's it, it it's the feeling that's important mm -hmm. and embodying the feeling tone of it. And then it, it, it may naturally shift. Um, and, you know, a bit like the whole booze thing there's no rules around your word for the year so if you want to be sam and only do it for six months because you're a rebel without a cause then with a cause, with a cause. <laughs> i sometimes don't have a cause sometimes i'm a rebel just for the sake of being a rebel to be fair um so leanne says hi guys my word this year is steady i love that keep mm -hmm. moving forwards at a steady pace mm -hmm. and trust your inner wisdom steady as we go yeah. Yeah. It's all these things. I love them. And I, and I, and I'm willing to bet that we, with that one word, there's so much in it. There's so much in it. Like what, what Leanne might mean by steady, someone else might love that word for a completely different reason. Like it would, it may seemingly point to a whole, there's a whole world in there behind that one word. Um, absolutely amazing. And Jacqueline says, pause is nice. So she likes your word, Mr. Sam. But she likes peace too. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I like that. I mean, you can Very break nice. your rules and have two words if you like. Peaceful pause. Mm. <laughs> Stick Very them nice. together, glue them together. Why not? Mm. So yeah, there we go. Like, 
so awesome i um i think it's a really really lovely practice actually sometimes with some of these things i think oh that's a bit cheesy but i actually i really think that this one could be a really lovely thing um, well i do, i love the simplicity of it mm. and and as you said earlier it's all it's all about intention and feeling so last year i i'd picked a word <clears throat> it'd come well not picked a word the word had come to me and it was rhythm and mm. for the first three or four months of the year, I was tying myself in knots because I'd kind of misinterpreted why that word had presented itself to me. I'd made this assumption that it was all about discipline and like discipline in my practice and I kind of having a rhythm of my practice. And I was really, there was a lot of resistance there. And partway through, I don't know, maybe it's month four or so into the year, I was I was with my teacher and in um, in satsang, and I just had this moment of um, becoming lucid and realizing that the whole thing it wasn't about discipline. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was it was about falling into the rhythm of life. So as opposed to like imposing a rhythm on something which is what I was trying to do unsuccessfully and getting tied in knots it was about falling back into the natural rhythms that are already there yeah. and then I, I went off on a mass like down a massive rabbit hole looking at um the moon phases and all of that sort of stuff and so there's well that, that's that's for a whole nother episode but um it's found it's fast well I found it fascinating anyway so yeah um, those, those, isn't it amazing how something like that can spark your interest like that though just from like an insight that you had that's pretty cool yeah. so but the reason for bringing that up is what in line with what we were saying earlier about like this isn't a rigid fixed thing this is a a, a movable yeah. um a movable feast <laughs> yeah and uh being open to whatever's coming to you throughout the year is um is really important Awesome. Says, I love this live podcast. Do you guys want us to do this more often? <laughs> Leanne says, uh, another, albeit a phrase, a very specific to me, calm on the fuck down. <laughs> I say that to Ellie all the time. Calm on the fuck down. Um, lol. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we'll, def um, like, well, we'll definitely find time to try and get together and do this more often. Spe speaking of which, one thing that we did want to take just a minute to talk about as well is that we are, so this same time next week, we will have our first ever um, live event that's part of the membership that we've put together. Um, so each, so this, th this one next week, we'll be kind of getting together, answering questions, wherever you happen to be on your alcohol free journey or whatever, you know how the podcast goes, we'll answer any questions. But rolling on each month, we're planning on having sometimes like a workshop style, sometimes having a guest with us to interview them. Um, and so that's one way. So because we we're both so busy that in terms of coaching engagements and stuff like that, for for at least for a little while, for the foreseeable, we're just not going to be able to put something together. We we had to think about it and it's just we're just both up to so much. So if you'd like to come and hang out with us live and get your questions answered and all that kind of stuff, um, we, we will have that opportunity for you. Um, and yeah, the membership's the way to do that. So Ellie, I don't know if there's, have we finished talking about everything about our word of the year? Like for anyone who wants to hang around, it would be cool maybe just to spend five minutes just talking about the membership and why we've put it together. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. So. Awesomeness. So if anyone's, if, yeah, if anyone wants to hang around and just hear a little bit about it, awesomeness. So there will be a live event. Hang on, let me pull something up because I'll forget something. There'll be a live pull event. Pull something up? Yeah, so I'm not pulling something out. Just pulling something up. There'll be a live event each month. Now, we're very much open to suggestions on that as well. Like if there's a specific topic or something. There's actually... Or a specific guest that you want because I've got some folks, like th there's somebody in particular that Sam and I have talked about in the background who was one of our guests on the podcast. Mm. And we we get a lot of feedback uh, thankfully on the podcast and particularly with guests and so we kind of have a view as to like who which guests you really really liked and uh and who we re we really like and yeah. who we want to get back yeah uh and we've got some ideas for some guest appearances in this 
uh, event format. So uh, being a part of the membership, you can raise a hand for this is the person that we would like to come along. Yeah, and, one, and we can't guarantee they're going to come, but we can. We'll try our absolute project. best, right? Um, you can reach out to us and let us know your requests. Um, but the the coolest thing is there's t so there's a way to request podcasts in there as well. So anyone who's caught today's podcast will know that that's the first podcast we put together that's been requested by someone who's a member. Um, so I think we spent forty five minutes answering. Meg's question, which is really cool. Uh, and it was such a great question. It was a really good podcast. It was all about what to do if your partner's still drinking. So if anyone hasn't caught that, um, be sure to catch that. So you can get your own podcasts put together. You can, you get a live event. Um, there is this, this is kind of funny. There is a, there is a digital Sam and Ellie on there. It's quite cool. Actually, if you go on there and click for anyone who joins, you'll see if you click on the bottom right of wherever you're in the membership space, uh, there's like a little question box that that loads up and you can ask it a question, any question you want. It will go through all of the podcasts and it will answer as if it's me and Ellie and it will tell you what podcast it's found information in and it will take you to the place in the podcast. Um, so that's pretty cool because uh, we wanted to, we basically wanted to have a way of sometimes you just want an answer to a question. You're like, oh, I really, you know, this this thing coming on Saturday and I don't know how to get an answer for it. And there's, that's a great place to start um and see and see what comes back from that what else is in there Ellie? have you oh. messed with digital sam and ellie yet have i messed with it what do you is in like have i taken the piss out of it or something yeah have you tried to like me mess with it to see no, i don't know what will happen it'll probably just be very polite backwards or something if you oh, tell no, it'll swear for sure do you reckon no, fuck you oh well <laughs> <Fuck> it's <you, Sam. laughs> I'm not sure it's literally a digital representation of you yet. If it was, it would definitely have a potty mouth. Um, oh, the journal. Oh, this is a big thing. So each week um, I am going through the podcast each week and thinking of what would be the most supportive one, two or three potential prompts or questions. So you can, if, if you are someone who listens to the podcast each week, you can get some questions to support it. And it's not overwhelming. As I say, it is one or two. So it is the kind of thing you can do on a Saturday morning with a cup of tea or something like that. Um, and there's also a 20% merch code on it as well. So for anyone who does want to buy T-shirts or mugs or anything, um, you can say basically the, so the membership's $12 a month. Pretty sure if you wanted to buy certain things in the merch, you'd, you'd, no, you wouldn't quite save that, but you'd save a you'd you'd save a decent portion of it. Um, if if you are someone that wants to buy uh, merchandise and stuff, um, and so yeah, like we we're gonna what we had a big discussion around what to do, um, with sponsorship and adverts and stuff like that, and we kind of decided oh, we don't think we're gonna go that route. We won't. We're not gonna say we'll never go that route, but we know it changes the listenership. It like the experience of listening to a podcast. I think it does anyway. I've noticed that when I tune into podcasts and there's adverts every five minutes, it can be a bit of a wind up. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is one of our ways of, for any of you who've asked, can I support the podcast in any way? We're hoping this is a way that you can do that, but another a way that we can give back massively as well. Like this, hoping that the monthly event will be worth way more than the price of entry for this thing. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. It will be. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Leon says, potty mouth is a must. <laughs> Fucking A, right it is. <laughs> there you're right. Well, I'm sure there are some people that listen and, and they cringe every time every time you swear, Ellie Crow. It's shocking. It's absolutely shocking. No, I've never sworn on the podcast. So, you know, I blame on the you. On potty, you mean? Oh, no, don't call it that. Don't call it that, you absolute... No, no. I wonder what you're going to say there. <laughs> Somebody, Somebody said, oh, it was when, no, you know, when I interviewed Charlotte for the podcast, uh, my stylist. Yeah. Um, go back and have a listen if you missed that episode. Um, after, at the end of that episode, I went, see you next Tuesday. Oh, yeah. And as, and as, I, and as I clicked stop, she went, did you really, did, did you say that every week? I went, yep. That's why we released it on a Tuesday. <laughs> That's, that's brilliant because we we actually st I I we stop we haven't done that but every time you're in control of recording an episode you do that because yeah. you're rude shocking it's not rude mm. you're you're the person that Ooh. told me we had to start the podcast on a Tuesday we do we do we do have to do that um right hang on I just wanted to ah so do you know what for anyone who's interested uh hang on. oh my lord yeah, oh don't don't screw up the audio. 
Oh, it's it's fine. It's this professional people, people outfit. Forgive us. What I'm going to have to do is post the link to. If anyone who wants to have a look around, I'll post the link to the membership in the in the Facebook um in the Facebook group again. Um, and yeah, have a look. See see if it's something that you want to support. And if it's something like, for example, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from um so if there's a particular topic or something for one month that you really want to come to the uh what do you call it so i'm running out of steam because it's getting it's getting late in the day um the event if you want to come along you can do that and you have control of joining the membership and and, and leaving it and all that kind of stuff are you i'm trying to get my fireworks working but they're not working um oh no what's, I don't what's have the it. what's the link for the so um, membership it's present and sober dot club dot club forward slash register register you got it yeah i got it good oh, job you have i couldn't handle it i totally messed that up didn't i it's a good job you've got your tech support here isn't it <laughs> good grief right team ah. well that was fun our first ever live podcast can you get eckhart tolle as a guest i'll see what i can do mate I'll um I've got him in my phone actually. I'll give him a ring later. I'll say, Oi, Eckhart, get out the fucking now. <laughs> Come and get on the podcast. That's so I'll you get out the now. I uh, I'll tell you who else we should get on whilst we're in that realm is um th this sort of always makes me laugh. One of our live naked ladies calls him Mike. Mike Singer. Like what like you know him. <laughs> Mike. Love to get Good on Mike. Mike. Love to get Mike on. Um, yeah, I mean, you'd be sometimes you'd be amazed if we set a challenge. It would be a good reason for us to attempt to get through the, uh, you know, the uh, look at this. You're yawning because I'm, I'm talking. Me. I know. I'm good. Get through the um, the layers that stand between Michael Singer and the outside world. We can try and get through and get him into the podcast. Um, anyway, I think we should. Uh, I think we should wrap this up because I'm slowly losing my mind. Mm. Well. I really, really appreciate you guys being here with us live. It's yeah. been a real treat. Uh, thank you to everybody who's tuned in and listened as ever. We really appreciate you. If you're not in the Facebook group, what are you doing? Come and join us in the Facebook group. What are you, what, what, what huh? are you doing? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. Yeah, what, what are you doing? doing? Yeah. You idiot. What's wrong with you? <laughs> come and join the group and definitely come and join the membership. Even if you just come for the first one, give it a shot. What have you got yeah. to lose? Twelve dollars. That's what you've got to lose. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not super high stakes. And an though. hour of your time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they'll always they'll obviously be recorded as well. So there will be a bank of those building up. So the plan is that every year, well, by the end of the year, there'll be twelve events for you to go back and watch till your heart's content and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. All right, team. Huge love. What's happening in the chat, Eddie Crow? I had to turn all of my stuff off because I made such a hash of it. Just lots of love. Just lots and lots. Big love. Of love. So big love to you guys. Um, I am going to say it. See you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday. Oh, I've forgotten how to stop this thing. Now.